watching Wall Street with our financial expert Rob Black. Ah, happy days are here again. The Dow up 125 points almost right now, 15,624, and the S&P 500 crossing the 1,700 mark for the first time ever. A pretty good weekly unemployment number coming out this morning. Is that can people hope for tomorrow's monthly jobs report? Maybe. Yeah, I was looking at that number, and here it is right here. It came in at 326,000 uh, first time unemployment claims, i.e. You've been let go, time to march down to the unemployment office and write down your information so you can start collecting a paycheck. Um, any number under 400,000 is deemed pretty good. So we need tomorrow's jobs number to create over 200, 250 would be ideal, 300 and Rob Black pops the champagne this weekend. Uh, we need a stronger number than just gaining 200,000. Yeah, so it looks like, uh, as we saw the GDP growth numbers come out yesterday, the economy is still slow, but it seems to be getting better. Yeah. I ask with a question mark. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, 1.7% GDP growth. Yeah. Uh, Goldilocks would say, oh, it's kind of cold, but it's not frozen. Um, you don't want it too hot, then it creates inflation. You don't want it too cold, but we're on the cold side for sure. Um, so GDP is expected to continue to add and grow a little bit more in the back half. Uh, yesterday's number was surprisingly stronger than expected based on a lot of inventories, um, but there was also a lot of consumption. So we, as a nation, as we consume, we make our economy work economy works, we create profits, we create profits, and we hit S&P 500 and Dow record highs. Yeah, we saw so much fear in the markets over the last year with worries about Europe, and I saw Spain had a contraction in their economy, down 0.1%, so at least we're growing, but are we not worried about Europe, I guess, imploding anymore? No, and in fact, there's some data out this morning that both Europe and China are manufacturing a little bit more than expected. Basically, it's a 50.5 reading. I know you're saying 50.5, that's the magic number of the day. Yeah, any number over 50 is growing, any number under 50 is contracting. So uh, Europe is healing thyself very, very slowly. Um, China is slowing down, but you know, 7.5% growth is an 8, 9%, but it's still pretty darn good. And are you hearing most analysts are projecting the second half of the year for the markets, kind of a sideways move still, since we had such a big jump in the first half of the year, or we'll have to wait and see? You know, if right now if you were to sell my soul, I'd sell my soul. <laughs> We've got an 18% this year. You could have my soul. If I can get that every year and I can be done by July and take the last five months of the year off, yeah. Um, so at 15 times earnings, S&P 500 is expensive. It's, it's priced, you know, good. You need more sales, you need more jobs to get us any higher multiple. Otherwise, we should have put in our gains. But, you know, look, like you said, people in fearful and Warren Buffett or Warren Buffet, as I like to refer to him, once said, be fearful when others are greedy, be greedy when others are fearful. So as people have been fearful, it's been a great opportunity to buy the stock market. Yeah, and I thought you had sold your soul already, so I was glad to hear you haven't done that, Rob. I probably have. Yeah, right, thank you, Rob. So. We'll check back with Rob at 915 for today's winners and losers on Wall Street.